total installed capacity of energy sources in Mongolia is about 1300 megawatts. And during peak hours, due to lack of energy sources, the country imports up to 250 megawatts from Russia and up to 160 megawatts from China. The energy imported from China meets energy needs of Oya Tolgoi, the largest copper and gold mine in Mongolia. Oya Tolgoi is connected to the central energy grid of Mongolia in 2020 and will receive a small portion of its energy from the system currently. In order to fully supply Oya Tolgoi's energy demand, the system will need new sources of an additional 160 megawatts. The operation of the Tsagan Sorvarga deposit requires 90 megawatts of energy. Tavan Tolgoi coking coal mine is estimated to use up to 250 megawatts to produce and process 30 million tons of coal per annum. And the domestic energy demand in the southern region is about 30 megawatts. This means that by 2023, the system will need to add a new source of energy with an installed capacity of 530 megawatts to meet the existing demand in the southern region. In addition, the first phase of Tengri Industrial Minerals project will require about 300 megawatts of power, followed by the next phase of the project, which will require another 200 megawatts of power. And by 2025, the system will need to have another new source of energy with an installed capacity of 500 megawatts. Furthermore, if the load on the energy system in the central region increases at this growth rate due to the expected demand for energy from other large projects and programs, another new source of this amount will be needed by 2027. All this demand of energy can be supplied domestically with abundant coal resources in Mongolia. Sadamnor Thermal Coal Deposit belongs to Jora Nidak Basin, which is one of the largest thermal coast basins in Mongolia. The deposit is located in the Tsadam Lake Valley in Bayan, sub-province of Central Province, and is 130 kilometers south of Ulan Batar, the capital city. We possess three mining licenses with 5,200 hectares of land on this deposit. We conducted geological explorations on the licenses in 2007 through 2016. The explorations comprised of geological mapping 144 line kilometers, seismic mapping 324 line kilometers, topographic mapping 3,442 hectares, core drilling 9,414 line meters, drill hole surveillance 9,294 line meters, and hydrological drilling 1,192 line meters. As a result of the explorations, 675 million tons of coal resources have been confirmed and these resources are expected to increase significantly in the future. The heat capacity or calorific value of coal is 4100 to 5200 kilocalorie per kilogram of coal, which is relatively high calorific value in the region. Sadamdor coal mine will initially produce up to 5 million tons of thermal coal per year as an open pit with state-of-the-art solutions ensuring minimal costs and waste. The coal will be transported from the mine to the power plant through a conveyor system, which is both environmentally friendly and cost-effective compared with road and rail transport, as well as reducing carbon dioxide emissions. This approach protects against the risk of serious environmental damage, such as heavy dust, fumes, air pollution, and damage to vegetation. The company is fully licensed and permitted in Mongolia to build, own, and operate a coal mine. Licenses, permits, and designs are in place for a state-of-the-art 600 megawatts mine mouth coal-fired power plant. We're ready to start building. The maximum amount of emission levels of waste generated by the power plant is significantly lower than the target stated in EU standards as follows. Nitrogen oxide, NOx emission level is five times better. Sulfur oxide, SOx emission level is nine times better. And particle matter, PM emission level is 25 times better. The carbon dioxide generated by the power plant will be directed to an adjacent factory that absorbs the gas into algae containing water. Algae can double its mass in a few hours. Of the carbon dioxide converted to algae, 90% will be used to create animal feed. This is not only an environmental breakthrough, it is also a very profitable business that is of strategic value to the Mongolian agriculture sector. 
The other high-end 10% of the algae will be used to produce products such as human bionutrients and antioxidants. The demonstrated manufacturing oil yields of algae is 10 to 1,000 times more than the other oil sources, such as corn, sunflower, rapeseed, oil palm, etc. It is also worth noting that the full Tengri Energy Initiative around dramatically reducing the byproducts of carbon-based energy generation, which we call the Green Coal Initiative, was presented at and positively received by the United Nations in New York in the 2018 session on Sustainable Development Goals. We're working to establish a world-class intelligent data center adjacent to the power plant. With Tengris's strong high-tech in Ireland network, we can transfer know-how, train critical resource, and attract the big business players. Ireland is a small country on the edge of Europe. All of the major born-on-the-web companies operating business from Ireland, including Amazon, Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Intel, Facebook, Uber, Airbnb, and Zoom. Ireland hosts data centers of all sizes. The data centers consume 700 megawatts of energy. Cumulative construction spend on the data centers is over $8 billion and data centers made a $40 billion contribution to GDP in 2018. This demonstrated success story for Ireland and Europe will be applied to Mongolia in Asia. As part of the project, we will build double circuit 220 kilovolts overhead power lines from Sadamur to Chur, which is about 100 kilometers, and from Sadamur to Bangunur, which is another 100 kilometers. This will connect the Sadamur power plant with the central energy system. The power plant is located right in the middle of three major load regions, namely central, eastern, and southern regions of Mongolian power system making it strategically important as a new power source for the stable and reliable operations of the system. In addition, we are working to build a high-tech industrial complex in Chur for processing of floor spar, silica, graphite, limestone, precipitated calcium carbonate, semi-coking coal, and non-ferrous metals. It will require about 500 megawatts of energy to operate. It is planned to supply this energy from Sadam Nor Power Plant. As mentioned previously, the government of Mongolia has approved a power purchase agreement of 300 megawatts at 7 cents per kilowatt hour on a use it or lose it basis. The industrial complex will purchase the other 300 megawatts of output at 7 cents per kilowatt hour. And since production costs and sell price are world class, this is a big win for Mongolian electricity users for the Tengri industrial minerals business, for the data center initiative and for the Tengri energy business. With the implementation of these projects in the energy and industrial complex, Mongolia will have a reliable source to meet 100% of its energy needs domestically. This will eliminate the burden on the budget of large amounts of imported energy. Favorable conditions will be created to reduce energy prices and tariffs. Energy constraints will be resolved, so major mining projects in the country will start and expand. And about 7,000 new jobs will be created in the region. Every year, at least 20 million U.S. dollars will be paid to the Social Insurance Fund, 40 million U.S. dollars will be paid as royalty, and 200 million U.S. dollars will be paid as corporate income tax. In addition, investments will be made for improving the health and living environment of local people within the framework of social responsibility, and funds will be spent to support local small and medium enterprises who work with us as contractors, subcontractors, and suppliers. In terms of the scale of its importance to the country's economy, it will have an impact on the economy no less than the current Oyu Tologi and Erdernet mines. Tengri Energy Business also has a roadmap of projects in various stages of development and licensing. The projects include building conventional and renewable power generation assets to 4,000 megawatts for the electricity export market. GuideCo membership has been achieved, reflecting the plans to make a substantial contribution to the Asia Energy Supergrid, which connects Mongolia to China, Japan, Russia, South and North Korea. The energy business starts with a 600 megawatts plan and ramps in the following phases. 1. Ramping the coal-fired power plant capacity to 3 gigawatts. 2. Converting the greenhouse gas emissions from the power plant into a commercially compelling business. 3. Ramping renewable solar and wind projects to 2 gigawatts. 4. 
creating a coal to synthetic gas project that will feed over 250,000 homes. Five, creating a pumped hydroelectric storage. And six, refurbishing batteries and solar panels. We will invest 7.8 billion US dollars in our energy business in consecutive five years period, along with the phases. A clean and reliable energy source and a world-class integrated processing plant complex will be built in Mongolia.